What's going on? Back out for the shiny on brown here, and I know it's been a while since I did any sort of commentary. I've done a few months now without commentary, and it's actually been really... It's actually been bugging me, because I never even finished Fire Red, which is amazing. But, um, obviously, I don't have my game up. I don't have anything up, because what I'm doing is going to be amazing. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that much. So as you, so as you guys know, about a month ago, Pokemon Sun and Moon came out, which is amazing. I spent like the entire month from when the game came out to now, just taking my time. I actually just finished it yesterday. I've talked, I talked to literally all, all the NPCs. I've gotten three shinies so far, I think. So I've got Nine Tails, the Lolan form, of course. You can't catch any of the regular Kanto forms. Marowak. Actually, I've only caught I only got two shinies so far in Sun and Moon. Catching shine catching shinies in Sun and Moon is actually very easy and I'm very excited to actually attempt a recording of me finding a shiny. So just like every other Pokemon game that's come out, uh black and white, I'm sure Emerald had the same thing if it was if that was how Nintendo did their thing back in two thousand. Um, you could pre order the strategy guide along with the games but for sun and moon there was something more something amazing something i've never heard of actually and it's this thing you pre-order sun and moon you can also pre-order it with this which is a collector's vault specifically for this one pokemon sun and moon it's for an extra 130 but i've never heard of this ever oh look at this look at this there's like little Hello, Star. You can see my computer screen. Amazing. I'm gonna open this because I've never heard of a collector's vault, and I've never done one of these videos, so might as well start somewhere, right? Look, no plastic. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh my gosh. This is just one more look. This is the front. This is the little flat well, it's Really cool design. Look at that. That's a really cool design. Then we got. On the other side, we have Sun and Moon. Then we have Owl, Cat, Seal. I guess Circus Seal. I don't know. Let's see what's in. Let's see what's inside. It opened. Dun 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 dun. Oh hello. Oh my God! There's everything in here. What's this? For you, Pokemon Trainer. Amazing. What is this? Ooh. I don't know how to open letters. I hope you guys know that. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in this vault of video game -ness. I don't know. Like I said, I've never heard of this, so let's see. Oh, by the way, Team Rocket. I want a Team Skull hat, if they ever make one. Team Skull is the best team ever. Whoa! Look at this. Look at this thing. That's so cool. This is a. Uh, it's not. It's not five hundred dollars like a or three hundred like a PS3. It's pretty cheap compared to most of the game, most of the things they sell nowadays. But this would be really worth it. Honestly, look at this. That's so cool. This is from um. Shigeru Omar Omari, the new Shigeru Shigeru. Shigeru Miyamoto. This is the new Miyamoto for Pokemon. Rest in peace. Rest in pepperoni. All right. What else is in here? Oh my gosh! Wait, what are these? Hold on. This color thing is thicker. I don't know what this is. This is tattoos. That'd be awesome. I don't know exactly. Look at this. You can't. The camera won't pick it up. Of course it won't. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. What else? Is, what else is in here? A little region concept artwork. Look at this. It's got a little book wall and everything. Uh, there is a warning at the bottom, however. As you can see. This may contain some uh, spoilers. I'll put that in the. I'll put that at the start of the video, just in case anyone hasn't played it yet. I know there's a lot of people who haven't, or who haven't even picked it up yet, sadly. Oh, hey, look at that. That's so cool. Holy crap. 
I'm not gonna, I don't censor things in my videos. If you've seen my... If you remember my Mario Let's Play. This is pretty cool, actually. So, with the con- with the- what was it? Concept art? Yeah. With the concept art, you just, uh, just pictures of how you- of how they, uh, drew the character. So let's say... The Kahuna for the... whatever island? I don't remember these islands. I only named them one, two, three, and four. And you get, uh, the little island Kahuna thing in the back. I don't know what that- I don't know what this person- oh, oh, sorry. I don't know what that person down there... I don't know who she is. Let me take a closer look at this. Yeah, I still don't know. Even just looking at her once. But. Concept art. Art's exciting, trust me. Like, look at. Like, look at this. Shows all the little different designs and expressions and everything. You got, um. Kuni Kuni City. I like this city, honestly. I really like the. I really like love the city. I really love the art for Sun and Moon. You got Nanu, the third Kahuna, and Miley City. Hapu, Hapu, whatever. Which was like a surprise twist. It's like, oh, Pony Island. We don't have. We don't have. We don't even have trials. So we don't even have a Kahuna. Then like five second, five minutes later. Oh wait, now we have a Kahuna. And we've got the Sea Folk Village. Where is it? It's somewhere right there. The SS Magikarp. Oh my gosh. Anyways. And we got the masked, masked Royale, aka the Professor. Spoilers. Then we got the Battle Royale. This, I love the Battle Royale. I'll be going more into depth in this in a future video, but I love that so much. We've got the Crazy Mother of the Aether Foundation. With some right and wrong, right and wrong of how to draw her? Draw the shoulder at least. At the very least. Like right there. It's, I have no clue. Well, we have the uh, Aether Foundation. Oh, wow. I never actually looked at the Aether Foundation from the top. Because you always spawn like the ground floor. I never actually looked at it from the top. Look at that. That's so cool. Anyways. Next we have... Oh, it's a heal ball. We have an Aether, found... we have an Aether Foundation guy. Just a grunt. Just a normal grunt. But look at that. A little heal ball. Yeah. Torchic. I hope that's right. We have the Aether base. What is it? With a Pikachu hiding after he jumped in some pink paint. I don't know what's happening there. And last but not least, we have, oh my god. We have not only Lily, but we have all of Lily's expressions. I love Lily. Lily's a great character. I really loved her. I really loved her character in the game. I don't know why. It just seems so different from a real character in any other Pokemon game. Look at this. Oh, what is this? Oh, sick, man. Path to the Plank to the Plank Bridge. This is the uh, Tapu Koko. Look at that. Detailed, all right? That's so cool. I really loved it. I really like this. So that's my spoiler warning right now. After I do it, put the spoilers away. It's not really spoiling, in my opinion, but whatever. There's everything in here. What is this stuff? Oh, s dude! Now I want to. I want to. I want to start reading again. Fun fact: I don't like reading. But I want to start reading now. Look at this. This thing. The bookmark, and it's got all these little Z crystals on the side. The pixels are hard, I can tell some of them. That's so cool. The little bookmark, I start reading again. If that's the case. Well, so, oh yeah, I saw this. So, it looks like a passport thingy. Oh. It says Alola region, I don't know what is inside. 
And I was right. I got a passport. I can go. I got my trainer passport. I can. I can go to any region now. Do you see this? So this. So this is like in the game. You know, like for example, when you take your first step, you get the little. You get the little stamp and your trainer's passport thing. And it has like a little stamp. And according to the instructions on the first page of the passport. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So yeah, you get the little, uh, you get the little stickers. Just like in the passport. And as you, I guess, play through the game, you get to do that. That's so cool. I like that. I really, really, I love the art on some of these too. So you got, uh... Taco Coco, Taco Bobo, Taco Lele, Taki, Taki, Taco. You get the taco fish. So Galio, the new, 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 new. I don't actually know the name of oh, this. The Moon Legendary. I always forget. It's a lot more complicated than Sol Galio. For some reason. That was, this was getting those back in here was more difficult, surprisingly. Next is this, if I can get it out. Ooh. A little Sun and Moon pen, I think. Oh god, it's got some, it's really got some weight to it. Even the, even this lit, even this little cap has weight on it. That's, that's saying something. That's worth my 130. But yeah, look, it's just, just a little pen. How amazing is that? Does it work somewhere? Alright, stop being awkward. Oh, beautiful. That's probably backwards. This is beautiful. Stay beautiful. God, that's got some weight on it. Amazing. Alright, let's put this down for a second. What's next? This is uh, some plastic that separates everything. It's not that incredible. Shut up. What is this? I love the design. I love the whole Hawaiian design thing of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Look at this. It's on a lowland region travel journal. I realize everything's backwards. Oh. Oh, okay. So, I could have just tested it in this if I would have known. It's just, just a notebook. Oh, hello. With its own little bookmark. On the bookmark thing, and I just saw this too. In the back, there is. What is this? Oh, here we go. Whole Alolo region. Look how amazing that is. Such a beautiful game. I love it. I don't know. It's also a pocket too. I don't know what you put in it, but uh, we'll find out someday. I think. I I hope. I'm gonna start using this. This is. This is awesome. I'm going to use this for future videos. More specifically, videos just like this where I'm conversating and actually I have a point to something. Anyways, I think this is last and last but not least. A lowland region map. God. I wonder how big this is going to be. <laughs> That's my concern. I have to move this box. Oh my. Oh god. Wow. No, oh, the box is falling. Look at this. You have the little picture up here from like I think some one of the trailers and one of the pictures Nintendo sent out you have down here oh my gosh thing's huge by the way you have down here you got your drampa you got Alola and Marowak you got the town over there you got the town over there you got the town there we go it's very big I don't know how I'm supposed to do this honestly and then we got a little Mimikyu up there and then on the back oh my gosh this thing is huge. 
I don't know where I'm even gonna put this. Folded or not folded. You got the little map of the Alola region. That's so cool. Oh my god. Alright. So now, the real challenge. Folding it back up perfectly. Of course. Done. And besides the box itself, there is nothing else in here. That was actually really cool. My first ever book one, my first ever video game vault. Look at this thing. The classic. I'll, I'll put it back in after I hit the end button. Look at this. There's all this stuff. And then you get this awesome box. You get this awesome box. And then you get everything else that's in it. There's one more thing before I end the video. The strategy guide. I want to say this. But that's so cool. It's got the same artwork. Same starter. Same Pokemon. And it's uh, not a hardcover. It's kind of like... Well, I mean it is. It's got... It's, it's $130 worth. Uh... Ooh, hello. What's this? Look again to the next level. Move on, blah blah blah. Oh, here we go. I'm not gonna get. I'm not getting paid for this at all. But you can get the uh, Sun and Moon Pokedex book, just like they have for uh, Black and White and Sinnoh uh, early. 2017. So that's pretty cool. Shows you all the uh, Pokemon, where to find them, TMs, berries, Z crystals, etc., etc. Let's look in the book. Oh, hey, look, we got more concept art. Great. I don't know how I'm going to show that off right now. What? Oh my gosh. So I'm taking off the cover to the book. And, first of all, this book, holy hell, man, that's so cool looking. Anyways, this is what I, was, this is what I saw. Hata! Look at that. What even is this? What even is? Oh, this is the, this is the Pokey Pelago. That's so cool. We've got uh, the berry. Got the little berry place over here. We got the mining. I'm not sure what that is. I haven't messed with Pokemon Palago in like ever. I'm gonna start doing the treasure just so I can get some uh, evolutionary stones and all that. But um, yeah. Oh, concept art. So in, in the concept art, we have the professor, his wife, Lily. We have a uh, how. You, how, whatever you want to say. Just some more concept art. It's pretty cool. We got a uh, Gladian. We got the mom. We got Lana and uh, a Lima. We got the Lima bean up here in the corner, which is kind of like a Bugsy in my opinion because I thought it was a girl, but it turns out to be a he. I'm not sexist. We've got all the other Kahunas, or. Captains. Yeah, captains, here we go. We get the water, fire. You weren't really a captain. You're like you're Sophical brother, but you're still cool. <laughs> we got Mina. I don't know what Mina's goal. I think she was supposed to be the fairy type trial person, trial captain. But since there's no kahuna what's the point of trials though? So. But yeah, that is her concept art. Yeah, ghost. Captain Thingy. We got Guzma. I wanna say another team pla team plasma. I got three teams going in my head apparently. Faba. We got Wick, we got Cena, we got Dexio. We got the cool kids, basically. I like the other concept art better, kind of. There's so much concept art. Who are you? You're new you're new. Oh yeah, then we got Sam. Then we got up here. We got the new oak. I love. We got um. What's his name? Grimsley, from he's the dark type elite four member from uh from Unova. That's so cool. I love that. I love 
when you meet him in the game, I just like <sighs> Pokemon means almost everything to me. It's so it's kind of sad, but the feels when I met him reminded me of you know instantly. I saw him and I'm like, what? I know this. I know this person. And then there's a Yuki. He might be an after. See so right up here. He might be an after game character because I haven't met him yet. I don't never I haven't seen any hints of him either. So that'd be fun. Then we got the road on the bottom. The awesome Pokedex. The Beast Ball. Blah blah blah. Oh, we got the Poker Rider. A lot of concept art. Oh my gosh! And then the official guide shows you where everything is. You know, just a standard guidebook, honestly. Tells you the levels. Tells you everything else. Um, even I might not <laughs> actually read this. Actually, I will read this on my own time. This might actually help with some videos too. So that's that's gonna be helpful for me. Oh, here we go. The classic little uh, type charts down here. The only difference is they actually add a fair. Oh, what's in here? The secrets in the back. There's a secret thing in the back of the book. What is it? It's just the Alola map. We got our starting island, Mili Mili. We go on to Ula Ula. Or no, we don't. We go on to Akala. Then you Ula Ula, then Pony. Pony? Anyways. Then we just got the little thing in the back. Exciting, isn't it? So that was um, me opening my first uh, video game vault, actually. It was Sun and Moon, which I'm really excited about. And uh, out of everything in here, my favorite would have to be, I definitely like the travel journal. That's pretty cool. It'll definitely help me when I write down notes for future videos. But really, the thing that, ca that caught me the most when going through this was the passport. Because the passport's awesome, and I never look at it, but now the fact that I have it here, and we have the little stickers... I have my own password. I can go to the uh, Alolan region. And then the other thing that really caught me was the pen. I don't know what's with me in pens or anything like a writing utensil like this, but it's awesome. I love it. It's got weight to it, which means it's worth the money. And then obviously, I love everything else that came with it, but these two, three ish, I really, I really like this. I really like the, really like the travel journal. This is awesome. Ah. So worth it. So, so worth it. I love the art. The art's awesome. The strategy guide's awesome. The little cover for the guide is awesome. The box itself. It's freaking fantastic. That was me opening my first vault. My uh, video game vault. It was Sun and Moon. And it's empty. So anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's been a while since I've done... Commentary. It's probably been a while since you actually heard my voice. It's been a while since I've actually done commentary. And it took me about, what, five, six tries just to even start this whole video. But I wanted to start doing this. I have, if you can see back here, I've got my wall. I've got, I've actually got, I've got my chair. I'm, I'm, I'm on the desk. I'm in my own room with no distractions. I've even got my microphone set up. I got, just perfect right here so hopefully you can expect some more videos commentary some i know it's christmas i know it's december christmas is coming up but that doesn't mean i can't do horror there's been some really good horror games that i really want to play i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time pack